Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Viviana Mucci, I'm a postdoc researcher currently working on a rare neurological disorder named Malda de Borgman syndrome. Um, in short, we name it MDDS. Um, not many of you may have heard of this condition before, but um, MDDS is the chronic form of MDD, Malda de Borgman, which is something that you may have experienced in your lifetime as well. Perhaps all of us at least once we may have this sensation it basically refers to when you are getting off when you disembark uh, from a vehicle for example you've been on a cruise or you've been on a plane or uh, on a car or a train and you feel like you're still moving you're still like in passive motion despite being on a stable uh, land um, usually if you have experienced this, you know that it resolves within a couple of days and in the worst case scenarios, a couple of weeks. However, when the symptoms persist for longer than a month, then we consider this to become a chronic pathological condition and we name it Malda de Barkman syndrome, so MDDS. Uh, this condition is extremely debilitating for patients. In fact, they feel like they have a constant perception of movement. They feel like bubbling, rocking, or uh, swaying constantly. Uh, they have a constant instability. Uh, the symptoms are present 24-7. And they also have associated symptoms like cognitive slowness, migraine, photophobia, associated depression, and anxiety. Um, this condition can be um, described clinically as a new condition because it's only been recognized since 1987. Um, so there are a lot, a lot of patients that they're still misdiagnosed or not diagnosed at all. And this is quite complicated and um, uh, challenging for them to, in order to access then successful treatments. The second big step for the patients and challenge is that there are not that many places in the world where treatments or experimental treatment are offered. Indeed, uh, at the moment, we don't really understand everything everything about MDDS, we still don't know about its pathophysiology and we still don't understand uh, also um, what may be the most successful treatments. So there are a few experimental treatments available but um, they're still in the experimental phase and there are no exact cure for these patients. So. Um, <laughs> Working on a rare disease such as MDDS is really, really challenging. And me, as a young, as a young scientist, is uh, really extra challenging to obtain funding. Um, so I united with different experts around the world, with Dr. Shirley Brown from Western Sydney University, with uh, Dr. Sergei Yakushin from Mount Sinai Hospital in New York, and with Dr. Chai de Black from K. Leuven in Belgium. And together we have designed two innovative studies. The first one, to really advance our understanding about the pathophysiology of MDDS, especially because MDDS is quite interesting. It does seems to be a really clear female predominance affected by these disorders. So we want to do studies that will go more into the depth of how potentially gonadal hormones may influence this condition, so considering female. And the second part of our study will be more on the treatments. So we are trying to raise money to be able to offer for free different type of treatments to female and male patients and to be able to compare also what type of treatment may work best for different type of patients. Uh, indeed, we're still under the debating of patients that are exclusively motion triggers, so they get the symptom after disembarking, and patients that have the same symptoms, but they develop them spontaneously. So we want to find more about those two subtypes, more about the pathophysiology, as well as to be able to offer successful treatments for the patients. So, if you want to find out more about what is MDDS, how you can contribute to our studies, our team, with the work we have been doing in the past years on MDDS and how we try to help the patients, please go on CrowdScience, check out more information about our project and please donate. We really need the help of everyone to be able to conclude and to further advance our understanding about this very complex condition and to be able to ultimately help patients. Um, there is actually a very nice quote about dizzy patients. Uh, you don't get it till you get it. And that's extremely true. Uh, most of the people have 
we kind of like feel stable, the vestibular system, so our balance system is one of the most ancient system and uh, it's really intrinsic and gives us a perception of where we stand in space, how we move, is one of the most fundamental systems and we underestimate its importance and we only realize how exclusively and important this system is when it's malfunctioning, when it's not working. So you really only get this when you don't have it anymore. More. And this is something to keep in mind, uh, especially to give more idea about how difficult it is for these patients to be recognized. We still have so many questions to address and so much more work to do to help these people. So please, if you're interested, donate, check out more information. And if you're a patient in need, reach out. We're always happy to connect you to local doctors in your area around the world. So thank you so much to everyone. And uh, I really hope that we will be able to achieve the amount of money that we are aiming to raise. Thanks and thank you to CrowdScience and thank you to MDDS Action uh, Foundation from the UK for the extreme big support they have provided us with also launching this campaign. Thanks everyone and uh, please uh, reach out. Bye bye!